so now after cutting the skirt we want to cut out um the patterns that we have um, drafted already so first i'm cutting out the back pattern which is um this so as you can see um i allowed allowance on the um sides because this pattern was cut using exact measurement so i'm going to use um one inch of um allowance on the bottom of this and then on the side of this but for the um top of this i'm going to be using a half inch in allowance So this is going to be for the back. Okay guys, so this is the front side of the shirt and as you can see I am here to attach it to the back part. Now the first thing I did is to iron down this part which we are going to use for the bottom area. So the first thing I did is just to iron that down and I did the same thing for this other side because as you know it is going to overlap like this to bottom of now this is just a simple way to fold there are still other ways to fold this down but for the purpose of this i am just going to be folding like so i'm going to take this to the machine and i'm going to run this part down after which i'll go on to join the shoulders together so now i move on to cutting a sleeve for this um for this shirt and like we can see it's a free sleeve and so i'll be using the same free sleeve so first thing i'll do is mark this top part here And then I'm going to measure the full length of my sleeve with, with of my sleeve with an addition of one inch. So for my sleeve, I'll be using 23 and a half. So I add one inch, making 24 and a half. And so this is what I'll be using for my sleeve. Now on this top part here. So guys this is the sleeve as you can see it has been sewn so we're going to just go on to attach the sleeve to this um to the body of the shirt after which we'll come back to cut off the collar and also attach it hey guys so this is the shirt after we have attached the sleeve and then um, shaped the side and literally done everything except as you can see we've not yet attached buttons to it but this is the sleeve of um, the shirt after we've attached sleeve then and every other thing now we'll go on to attach the collar for this shirt we'll cut out the collar to attach it but for my own um for my own shirt i decided to not use a collar for this shirt so this is what it looks like it's going to look like if you decide to not use a collar for it but for the purpose of this video i'm going to show you how to cut a collar and also attach the collar to the neck and so now let's get our um drafting paper for this So this here is our uh, drafting paper. Now to get out the measurement for the neck that we are going to need, we are going to fold this, um, as you can see, we are going to fold the shirt on its side just like this to ensure that the sides are meeting and it is just like this. Then we will go on to take our measurement of what we have here. It will guide us in cutting out our collar. <clears throat> so, this here is what we are going to measure just as you can see so for my own shirt here i'm having nine and quarter so this is what i'm having on this drafting paper we're going to use the exact nine and quarter so as we know shirts have um two parts the lower side of it and then the um collar part of it the one that folds so for this first we are going to make for the lower side and for this we are going to be using 
one inch so here we'll just go on to mark the one inch down on your after we've taken out the um length for the color that we're going to be using so we'll go on to mark this down so guys on this same shirt as we folded you notice this part here that has you notice this joining here now on this joining side here mine is five inches meaning that the front side of this shirt meets the back side on the neckline part it is five inches so on this here we're going to measure that five inches just like this and so this is what we should have for our five inches now from this point here we're going to go up by a half inch meaning that we're going to extend this original length here by half inch so now this is what we are going to have now we're going to go on to join it just like this so this is what we are going to do now we're going to attach we're going to draw a straight line from this half inch up on the five mark just like this to join this line here and then we're going to also do the same for here so let's also extend our one inch line to this point here so we're going to now make this one inch here touch this part here just like this also then so for this this is what we have now make a straight line on this here now after you make a straight line on this you can choose to have yours um with a with a sharp corner like this although i think i would like to have mine a bit curved so what we'll do here is you're going to mark a half inch on this bottom um on this line and then also mark a half inch on this line and then from here you are going to connect it to meet and this is how you are going to curve this is how you are going to curve it out so we have already drafted for this first part here don't also forget when we are cutting this we are going to double it so now we go on to cut it out so guys this is what we have for the um the lower part of the color and it's going to be looking something like this on the half part of the fabric so now to cut the upper part of this color we're going to be working with um it we're going to be working with one inch less than this which is going to be eight and quarter but the first thing we want to do also is get a straight line from just like from this remember that we cut out that one and we curved it so this here is our straight line now one thing we want to do is now go on to mark out our eight and quarter just like this so we're going to mark eight and quarter now after marking this we want to make our color two and a half inches in height so we're going to also mark out the two and half inches just for this middle part we're going to extend it by half um half of an inch up and on this ending side we're going to bring it down by a quarter just so that it curves in a little bit here and now let's go on to attach let's go on to draw out our lines just so that you can actually follow as i go so this originally is what we should have for our color but because we'll be raising this color up like this we're going to have we're going to have this and we're going to join it we're going to curve it out so it's going to be looking like this on this middle part and then we're also um reducing this middle part here like this so we're going to straighten this one out and just also attach it to the line and we're going to have this the middle is going to be 
smaller now for this ending part you want to raise it a bit by a half inch just so that it has a pointed tip and this is what we do we also um increase it by a half inch on this point and just like we did we are going to this is what we're going to have so guys just to make this point a bit more we're going to extend it out on this corner here as you can see we are um diagonally extending this by this then we're going to make it join it to this point because we just want it to curve out or to have a pointed tip and so this is what we have so now we'll go on to trim out our color guys this is what our color is going to look like so when it folds on on the um color part of the shirt we're going to have it looking something like this so if we were to attach it to this let me try to tape it down together so that you can see what it looks like so guys after taping this is what the color is going to look like on one side of the shirt so imagine if it was folded down as it probably would be this is what we'd be having for the round of that color and so this here is what it is going to look like so guys when you want to cut this please ensure that you're cutting two piece of this and also two piece of this what am i saying my two piece but also make sure that this is folded into four places so this is just a half of the color to get the full color you're going to have to fold your fabric into two just like this and you're going to emplace this to ensure that it is touching on this point here just like this and you're going to cut out what you need so this is like your fabric and this is the pattern that we just drafted you're going to cut it out just like this you'll do the same thing for this and you're going to do it twice as usual you know that you're going to iron in your um stay just to ensure that it stands so when you have ironed that and you're going to now on one side you're going to um sew them wrong sides facing each other and then you're going to turn it out then sew this top side into this part now don't also forget that when you are cutting this you are going to include um, a half inch allowance on this side here and for this one it's also going to be the same thing but there will be no allowance on this end part because this is in the middle of it so you're going to leave out your allowances on the side then you're going to sew in your allowances and then fold and then turn this in into this one and then you're going to fold it out then you attach it to your um shirt beginning from the middle side just so that it can go around so guys thank you for watching this video up to this point and thank you for liking for sharing this video and um i hope to see you in the next video bye